Um, let's see. We, I've got, uh, we've got a good uh, string coming up. <clears throat> and with that said, I bought another Easter plush at Dollar General. But uh, I'm also thinking about buying some little uh, uh, tie, those tie Beanie Baby clips. And throw some of those in this. And uh, we're going to put some of those in there. And I might have to change the uh, payout because of that. So just get ready for that. And my bowling lessons. Alright, so my bowling lessons went pretty good for the most part today. And you'll definitely see a huge difference between how I position myself on the approach. And I'm going to try to upload a few of them videos. So, no, I don't do that. Because, uh... The kind of ball that I have, for your information, is not aggressive enough for the oil pattern that my local bowling alley uses. Um, which typically a house don't usually, some bowling alleys don't use a high volume oil. Well, uh, this bowling alley, it has been here lately. There's three people here watching. So, all right, let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Um, I'm going to go get me a drink. I'm going to get my claw machine turned on so they can start getting warmed up. Let me get the quarters out here first. You know what's weird? I have... I'm getting ready to play my claw machine, Grace. Thank you. Uh, thanks for tuning in. But I'm getting ready to play my claw machine. We need to get it turned on, get it warmed, get it starting to warm up. Okay, there's that. Okay. Okay, everything seems to be looking good. Let's see what kind of... I didn't, they, they didn't run nothing. Holy crap. Let's see what my gaming audits are at here. Not too bad. All right. So now, hello, Smokey. All right, let's get on. Let me get a drink, guys. And we'll get started. Okay. 
All right, y'all. Here we go. Turn the light out. So if that's what you guys came here to do, you better escort yourself out of here because you're going to cause me to get mad. So I don't know my claw machine how I see fit, which is obviously by Illinois standards. Oh, that's where I keep, this is where I keep my stuff at. And I got a vacuum over here. And I got, I got a whole bunch of plush that I want stored over here, so don't worry about that. I'm going to try to hook that thing by the foot. Well, didn't quite do what I was hoping it would vacuums into the slide strings tonight too. I got two filter queens over here. And I got some out in the hall I can show you. And I got like 13 or 14 Kirby's in my collection, so I got a uh, filter queen model 31. And an LD33. Why? 
Let me show you. See? There's my, this is my Filter Queen, Model 31. And this one I recently bought. I've had it for, I don't know, for three or four months maybe. Uh, this is a mall, this is a Filter Queen model uh, LD33. This one here actually comes with the power nozzle. And I got some out here in the hall. Yes, I am a vacuum collector, yep. I got this uh, cordless thing. It's like a mop. Uh, a a VHUO turbo. I picked that up in a trade from somebody I knew. Uh, 2001 Kenmore, the 2010 Sanitaire, 2003, or two, uh, 2004 Panasonic, excuse me. This one here has got the super bright LED. A 2009 Hoover Mock Cyclonic, as I call it because it says Mock Cyclonic. 2007 Hoover Garage Utility Vacuum. Dirt Devil, Ultra Vision Turbo. Uh, 2003. Simplicity Symmetry, a 1983 Regina Electric Broom, 1989 Singer CSS 220, and a Hoover Floor Mate. I also have a Shark uh, Couch Vacuum too, and I keep one in here. That's a two. That that's a uh, yeah. That's some old shoes. I got this one from my dad. Oh, I ain't done. Excuse the mask. I'm going to be cleaning. All these are Kirby's here. I own several of them. And then I got several Electrolux machines there, and there's one right there. <laughs> and I'm also a bowling pin collector, too. Um, pretty cool, I think, don't you think? All right, let's back, get back to claw machines here. All right, here we go. I do have vacuum videos on my channel, Muhammad. Muhammad, excuse me. Oh yeah. I managed to keep track of it. Don't ask me how, but I do it. <laughs> I don't know how I keep track of it, but I do. Oh no, I use them. I use them, but they are they mainly they are mainly mainly for collecting purposes, but I do use them. I do not run them a lot. But I do use them. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. I got over 30 vacuums in my collection. And I actually have a few more over next door. A 2020 Bissell Power Force. A 2020 Hoover Wind Tunnel XL Pet. And a 2013 Bissell Clean View. And a 1957 Electrolux canister. And I got bowling pins over there too.
Well, I think a lot of it too is because I'm, I grew up always vacuuming uh, people's houses. Like my grandma's and my late grandma's always vacuumed her house for many years. Um, but then I got, then I started taking interest in it. I do not know how old I was for sure when I started taking interest. Oops. I, I think a lot of it too because I like to vacuum so much. Pretty much. Um, there's been there's certain machines that I grew up around. Um, so I just I try to go for the one I've been around more than anything. <laughs> Yep, I got it set to where it clamps hard on initial strain, uh, um, grip, and then it lets go at the top. My claw machine is running on a set payout rate, which you'll see. I'll show you. I want you to see it closely. Watch. So this is my setup. Now watch the claw. And it'll keep doing that until it reaches the payout that I got set at. All right. Now I'm gonna go for that bear. Clamps, see? But because it's kind of stuck underneath that fish, it didn't close down on it hard enough. Let's go for this uh, dolphin. We're gonna try to grab by the tail. Well, how about the squishy instead? It's not gonna be uh, cooperative. Let's go for Mr. Squishy here. See what I mean? See how I let it go? Now, we will keep doing that until I get payout. But this machine is all digital. Now, let's go for Mr. Fish again, and you'll see it. Oh, yeah, if I wanted to, but I don't do that because I play my machine and do videos. So, so here, okay, there's that clamp. See how it loosens? I mean, I could pick for whatever I want to go for, yes. But, again, you got, see, I can reach in here and do this. If I wanted to. And then I can do that. Because I don't do that. I like to play. I just, I just like to play. Oh, no, 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 uh-uh. No one comes to my house to play my machine. See? See how that let it go? Now, it's going to keep doing this until I get payout. I pretty much just play it for uh, entertainment, and I, I do videos for my subscribers, and I jump on here live daily. So, now, see it's laying flat. See, it rigged me. It's going to keep doing that. Ah, excuse me. Pardon me. I didn't mean to do that. But now, see, there's air underneath this. Boom. You see how that claw let loosened up? 
Okie doke. I did not mean to do that. <clears throat> I don't know why you came here in the first place when I accidentally did that, so whatever. Shoot yourself, don't come back. Hi, user. Okay, perfect. All right. Uh -oh. I don't know why people can't understand when people have to burp, they come out, you can't help it. <coughs> Newsflash, it's a natural bodily function. Get over it. Bodily function. I don't, know, I don't see how people don't like that. Whatever. So. function come out and people think oh I gotta go I can't handle it it's all part of bodily function people I'm done streaming it will be up so I, I don't ever take my live streams down so yes it'll still be here so I'm about ready to end the stream anyway hello arcade Amy girl Nickum welcome can't do it too long because I'm not using my normal phone so 10 20 30 plays. I tried to dig it out, but it couldn't because there's a squish to be set on top of that, so. It's not got a good grab on it. Uh, 
There we go. That's better. That was better. Oh, that's cool. When did you get it? That was awesome. Gumball machine. That's pretty cool. <laughs> See, it's not rotating right. Let's grab that dolphin. Let's try it again. I got an idea. That's cool. Are you guys, do you guys have, um, like, plans to play on location? Or what do you guys got planned for it? Darn squishies in the way. Great. Perfect grab. Out there, like, Please, no, that's what I was trying to do, but it did not work. Now I'll move the draft. See if I can't do it again. Good grab, good grab. Not quite. That's, I wonder if I can get it by the body, though. That falls over as far as I can go. Kinda. Hello. Welcome to those who are stream. You're coming, coming in kind of late. I'm not really wrapping up, but that's okay. Um, feel free to rewind the video and watch the replay. You know what? We're gonna do ten more times. I don't speak your language. Sorry. I don't speak but anything but English. 
Well, welcome to the stream anyway. I only speak one language, and I, you know. Awesome, I can show you those right quick. After these plans are out because uh, if you want me to, I can run one on stream before I end it. I'll run one on the stream before I end the stream. How about that? I need to vacuum this room. Would you like to hear one run, guys? Okay, just, just my game is about over. I got two plays left, and we'll do that. Okay. Oh, good old. Let me get a vacuum here. All right, let's go get a vacuum. get a vacuum I haven't touched in a while. And the vacuum we're going to run before I end this stream is my 2005 Hoover Mock Cyclone. My 2005 Hoover Empower. So, let me, let me get her plugged in and uh, let's see if it still runs. It hasn't been ran in over a year, so. Okay. Here it is. This vacuum is almost 20 years old. Hush mode. Power increase. She needs a belt, but... Let's raise it up. It does need a belt, so. The thing actually runs pretty good. Here's some of my older ones. And yes, I do have a few cats. See that? That's, that's hush mode. The thing hasn't been ran in a while. You know, it's depend on the hoovers, though. I can find one more. I'll do one more and we'll end it, okay? Let me go get another one. Yeah, I've had this vacuum for a few years. Uh, this was my late grandpa's. Uh, one of my relatives gave me this to use it, use over there. 
and didn't want it back because I guess she got a new one, so. Okay, let me go get another one. Hey, Mom. Grandpa vacuum's still alive. You know the one that Aunt Wanda gave me to use over there? I need to find a belt for it. Poor thing ain't been ran in over a year. Let's get my uh, one of my vacuums from church. This one, 2004 Panasonic, super bright LED. It's got the retracting uh, retractable cord mechanism. This one, oh yeah, uh, they do that all the time. All right, now last vacuum of the stream. Here we go. Yeah, super bright LED. This one needs a belt too. Runs pretty good. All right, you guys, that's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching. Before I go, I just wanted to remind you guys that Jesus loves you and have a great night, and God bless everybody.